What's up, guys? Um, it's Seth Overbay here, and I'm joined with Adam. Hey, what's up, guys? And we're just gonna be watching this uh, Granger Fall Classic, the third Granger Fall Classic, that is, and we're gonna watch these five guys attack the course. Oh yeah, it's gonna be real interesting to see how this plays out. It's, the field was pretty stacked. All scores coming in pretty close together in there, aside from Jordan Davidson. Yeah, he, he shot a hot 48, it looks like, from round one, so that's pretty good. I've actually seen this covered, so it'll be interesting to watch what happens. Uh, coming in at a 98, that's super solid from Jordan. Oh, yeah. And it was extremely windy this day, too, so shooting 48 is pretty good. Starting out on hole one here, just your typical par three. So he is. He's actually going flick. If you guys don't know Jordan, he throws a mile. Oh, yeah. Probably be showcased in this video if I had to guess. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard getting up behind Jordan and following those big shots. <laughs> Here you got Adam. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Going on backhand, 400 GPA 3. Left a little wide, but it's still leaving me a good putt. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Oh, Jamie here. Jamie's another good player from Morristown, you know. Another local pro. Yep. It's again, though, it's going to be tough chasing Jordan down, though. He's got a few strokes. Everybody else. It's a good shot. That's Jamie's yep. MD5. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Eli, sponsored by Prodigy. I think he's on the street team. I'm sure he's going putter of some sort, PA3 or PA2. I think, so. I think that's actually his PA4. Okay. A mm, little deep. Slid over the bank there. Should be okay, though. It didn't look like it was coming in too hot. Hunter Bennett. I believe this is his first time being on film, actually. So, division. Yep, so it might be a little bit of nerves. Hunter's out of Knoxville. He's got a good game overall. Oh, yeah. This man has a mean flick. Just left a little wide. Yep. Not a bad shot either. Looks like Eli did actually squeak down the hill a little bit more than I thought. Still going to be putting up at the basket. It's better than putting towards the parking lot, though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's for sure. Just gonna take his time. Try to ring this one up. Get all the strokes he can. Doesn't want to lose another one to Jordan. Yeah. On this final nine going in. We need as many strokes as we can get on him. And ooh, just a tad low. low. Luckily that's set though. Jordan putting from like kind of the side of the hill, not really uphill too much. Yeah, I think mean he's about 26. Great putt. Yeah, Jordan's really started to find his putt here this year and really been playing really well, too. Oh, yeah. He's always been able to throw those 600 foot hyzer bombs. <laughs> Jamie as well. By Jamie. Yep, put in two. <laughs> Got a little dab action there. Here's Hunter. He kind of just spins the disc in his hand. Played with him several times. Looks like he's got an umbrella. Was it raining or is it just hot? And sunny. It, it looked trying like to keep the sun off of him. Rain was building up. It never did though. Yeah, I'm about 22. PA threes. Yeah. Chris Dickerson's signature PA threes. See what you got. Mm, putting that one in. I think everybody's getting the birdie there, except for Eli. For Eli and Hunter, they're going to be walking away with threes. Not too bad, but you still want a two on this hole. Yep. Especially when you're down so many strokes. I want to be getting that. Let's move on to hole two. You see there, Jordan has nine strokes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, quite a bit to come back from on these nine holes, but see what right. you guys can do. It's hard to catch him on these long courses. It suits his game so well since he can throw those 500-foot hazards. I would say this is kind of a separator hole that not many people are going to get. Probably Jordan and Eli. Yeah. Looks yeah. like he just let that one hazard out too much, so yeah. it's still going a long ways. Mm -hmm. Almost pin high, just a little left. 
See a few people on. in the background there yeah, watching, trying to follow that up. <laughs> Just let it get away from me. Turned it over too much. Maybe a little too much wind. Jamie going destroyer. Let's see what we can do in comparison to you guys. Also, let his leak a little mm -hmm. bit to the right. Yeah, he's going to be right around where I am. Yep. Both of you guys kind of did the opposite of Jordan. Jordan let his hyzer out. <laughs> Once again, this is a hole that Eli could take advantage on and try to get one of those strokes mm -hmm. back because Jordan didn't put himself in a great position and he can definitely reach this one. Out of his hand, we thought this was going. It was a great shot. Just Oh, yeah. Left a little meat on the bone. Still pretty good, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just turned it probably a little bit more than he wanted. Hunter can't quite throw the far enough to get this hole, I would say, but he can still put a disc out there. Mm -hmm. Not sure what he's throwing there. I think it's a bottom stem destroyer. Okay. Giving it some turn. Yeah, good flight, full flight out of that disc. Mm -hmm. It's in a fine spot. Get the three. Some kind of approach disc. I think this was a uh, Paul McBath's pressure in the zone. Okay. Throwing a flick up to the basket. Yeah. Ooh, just off the top of the basket, he actually nicked it a little bit. Okay. Couldn't quite tell there, but it looks really good. Kind of lose it a little bit in the light there. I'm sure that disc was hard to follow. Yeah, we all thought that was going in. Yeah, just off the band. Still left him. He left himself a putt with that one though. Yeah, I'm throwing my 300 A2 for an approach. Just a little too windy for my PA3s at that distance. Looks good. Yeah. Just over it? Yeah, probably about 8 feet. Should be putting that one in there all the time. Jimmy is. I think this is his Opto Pure. He's throwing. Yeah, the, the Pure is a really good disc for straight shots, turnover. Mm -hmm. Really good approach disc. We'll have to do a tight short, but he should be putting that in. I know Jordan's going to throw up and bounce it off the disc there. Mm -hmm. That'll be all right. Eli here with a long one, but does still have the closest look out of everybody. See if he can gain one back after losing that one on the last hole and just, just floated it just a tad. Looks like the wind grabbed it too. Hunter, after hitting the band there, you know, left himself a putt. So let's see if he can tap this to save the birdie. You can see he's wanting to get up there. Could have been wind, could have been something else, but nonetheless left it low. You got Jamie here, also looking to pick up the birdie three. Ooh. Also just a little low. Looked like whiff. that came out a little, a little whiff. Oh wind, yeah. Wind picked up a little bit. That probably, that probably was testing my nerves just a little bit. After seeing two guys miss, yeah. I'm sure. Elon Jordan gonna come in and put these in. Jimmy and Hunter just gonna clean up their fours. Par losing one. Hunter's gonna be losing another one, and Jamie's is as well. And you saw Jordan there in the background. He had his full flat shirt on. I wanted to mention he got sponsored by them for the rest of the year, so that's mm -hmm. pretty awesome. Jordan's a great player, so well, very deserving of that. You can see uh, Adam, you, and Jordan are both two down mm -hmm. through two holes, moving on to hole three. This one is eagleable, especially, once again, for the big arms. This course is a separating. Oh, yeah, for sure. For the... Out of his hand, he didn't really like it. He called it short. But that's looking really but good. It's uh, only about five feet short. <laughs> <laughs> that looked really good. Here I am trying to match that, but... That was a pretty big hyzer that Jordan just threw. Just threw it straight into the tree. Yep. We got through, though. Mm -hmm. Eli can also reach this hole on that hyzer. Are we trying to get the two? We did have a pretty good right-to-left wind pushing him. But that's not taken away from the shot at all. We still, it's a still match to get there. 
be helping it, keeping it from going out of bounds though. You know what he's throwing there? I think that's a 400 D2. 400 D2, and that's crushed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right above the pin. That's amazing. Jamie can also get there, so let's see what he's he's got. They're going destroyer. Oh, well, wow. it's going too straight. Needs to hyzer. He got really fortunate to get that anti skip off the off the hill right there. Looks like he's lined up the floor, and this is a play that I actually do being a lefty. Uh, go inside, and it's a little bit easier to get to the basket, in my opinion. You can, you got to get over on something and have the disc come back with enough stability, get you a putt, and mm -hmm. you just didn't turn that one enough. Yeah, clipped that tree just a little bit, killed all the speed. Yeah. I'm taking a forehand on my 400A2, trying to put it close. Got it nice and high and wide. Just over the basket. Yeah, you're there. Approaching here. Uh, look like an AVR maybe? I think so. Classic AVR. Yeah, that'll do too. This is a far piece to jump up from right here. Yeah, but a lot of those Knoxville guys will actually jump up from this far. Clint, Brandon Brown, Hunter yeah, now. have a pretty good jump up. Just can do it from like 120 feet. Hunter's still going to be up, and that's just showing you right there. Eli and Jordan both have put this one really close. We were all kind of ragging Jordan about it. We were like, oh, yeah, that's short, huh? He looks at us, and he's like, well, it's short, ain't it? <laughs> he is indeed short, but I'd be okay with being that short all the time. Oh, yeah. Nice eagle there from Jordan. Not really a pro par four, though. It's more of a par three for pros. clean up here. Macy there. Eli just coming to tap in. I'm going to move on over to across the road, right? To 18? Hole 18. Another good hole for the players that can just get that little bit of extra distance. Mm-hmm. See what Jordan's got here. See if he can give himself a putt. I think he's throwing his uh, cloud breaker here. On that big hyzer line. Ooh, not very many people are doing that. No. Straight hyzer all the way. And that is a, such a good mm -hmm. shot. That is crush. Oh yeah. First round, he actually almost threw ob long on that same same line. Mm. Yeah, Jordan is one of the furthest throwers I know. But here's Eli getting some good turn on the disc. Mm -hmm. Right to left, didn't quite let that get over all the way. And didn't really help, yeah. Still a great throw nonetheless. Yep. We got a long putt. Adam here. What you throwing? That's my shoe streak 400D2. Got a little bit of turn out of it. But I can't quite throw as far as <laughs> these two guys. <laughs> Not quite the Jordan range, no. but still okay. So James got once again going destroyer. Or Shrek even. I think that was his Shrek. It's up there in that, oh, you know, yeah. half run zone. It says 455. Definitely plays a lot longer than 455. Oh, yeah. As you can see, it's a little bit uphill. Once again, though, kind of a soft par 4 for pros. Really want to be getting the 2 or 3 here. Hunter as well didn't get quite enough turn on that. The wind just didn't let it turn. Jamie's just going to throw an up shot. Take the three, it looks like. He looked at me and he said, I'm definitely throwing this in. So I think he'll be giving it a good run. All right, let's see what he's got then. Hadn't seen this yet. A little twitch there. Just lift it wide. Just wide. Hunter, checking the wind. Going to try to give this one a run, it seems like. See what he got. Also, just wide right. Mm -hmm. Trying to make this one, Adam? Most definitely. I've actually never toed this hole. I've caged it plenty of times, but I really wanted this one. Yeah, it would have been nice. 
Thinking about how close Jordan is in this situation. Yeah. And I just... Also left it shot. <laughs> Eli's got a long putt. A little bit closer than you. See if he can put his in. And... Ooh. ooh just over. I thought it was over the basket. And Jordan, really good spot here. Could be picking up another stroke on the field. Taking his time. He really wants it. Mm. Oh, man. It's a little high. It's got to be a little a little hurtful to Jordan, knowing that he's that oh, close. Yeah. Could have gotten the two. But he's he is not losing a stroke to anybody, so it should be okay. Let's see what Jamie's got coming back. Yeah. yeah, that was a good 22-footer from Jamie. And Davin once again. <laughs> I have to ask him not to do that next time. Uh, <laughs> here's Hunter, also coming back for the three. Yeah, as you can see the trees in the background, it does look a little windy. Let's see if he got this putt. Mm. Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> See Adam in the background there. Don't know quite what yeah. you were doing, but I don't know either. Eli, Eli also coming back for his three. All these guys going a little bit long after trying to give it a good run. Oh That's man, for Eli. Sure, he's not happy with that one being oh, so no. close, putting for the two, and ended up taking a four. Be all right though. You got a, yeah. a lot more holes to play. You just taking the three, Jordan as well taking the three. Mm -hmm. Did Eli lose another one there, I think? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I lost one to the card on that one. So moving on to hole 10. Also, this one is doable. You just got to throw the right shot. Mm -hmm. A lot of OB though, OB left road and OB right road. And here's launching his Firebird out there. Firebird. Oh, yeah. No, that's looking really good. Turned it over a little bit too much. Went way long, but it's stayed in bounds. Still in bounds. Yes. All right, nice. Couldn't quite see it there. So Jordan just crushed that one. He's actually really long. You thinking picking up a stroke here, maybe? Oh yeah, I'm definitely trying. Always trying to pick up the two on this hole. I threw up my F5. I knew if I just put it out to the left, it'd turn over. Oh yeah, it looks well. really good. Very fortunate to get that kick off oh, the wow. tree. Oh wow, off the tree. It's going to put you in a good spot. Oh, yeah. Jimmy here with his leopard three. Yeah. Turning it. Maybe a little too much turn. Turn two just a tad too much. Started fighting back at the end, but it was already way wide. Inbounds, though. Hunter up next. Go with that same bluish disc he's been throwing. Mm -hmm. Going forehand. It's a hard forehand lefty hole. Um, you got you got to really flip something up inside that tree on the left down there in the fairway. You can see. See that that's really good right there. He just didn't quite flip it up enough. He hit the nut on that tree. That's a mash of a forehand. It's dangerous though. Fading down that hill can definitely end up OB very easily. It slants left to right, so any forehand lefty shot's going to be wanting to skip down toward the OB. Eli's definitely got the shot shape for this hole and just. Looks like that one's turned a little too much as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Actually turned it out of bounds. So he's going to be tossing up here, throwing three. Almost pin high, though, so, you know, he's in a good spot to get up and down. Oh, yeah. Save the par. Jordan barely in bounds. Yep. Just going to toss up as well. Right under the pole. Not gonna be losing any strokes to anybody. Maybe Adam. Adam's putting. Got Jamie here tossing up. That's his rock three. Looks like. Just low. I mean, it's there. Man, Hunter really likes to take his time on his putts. Yeah, he does. Has that little spin motion there. Mm -hmm. Just low again. Here I am. Probably the most nerve-wracking putt of my entire life. <laughs> Putting for this too in front of the camera and mm -hmm. everybody else watching. See what you got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice two there.
a good one to get. I have <laughs> my heart is beating out of my chest on that putt. Eli. Jamie and Jordan tapping in threes. Eli tapping in his four. Shadow B penalty. You guys going to 14 now? Mm hmm. 14, previous longest hole in Morristown. It's a true par four, though. You got to throw a good tee mm -hmm. shot if you want to get the birdie. Three. Not too mad with a four, though. No. You got OB on both sides once again, but this fairway is pretty wide, so not too much to worry about. If you really hang one trying to get too much distance, though, you could end up out of bounds. Looks like you made sure that one was turned. Oh, yeah. I've gone OB left way too many times. Turned Good spot. It. Mm hmm. I'm right up near that stump. Jordan here is probably licking his chops, just going to throw a mash drive. Left a little low, turned too much. Still out there, though. It's still out there, yeah. Jamie. Yeah. He's lining up a roller with his shrike, I believe. Or Leopard 3, not sure, but one of the two. Oh, man. Wow. Nice. Actually curled really nice. Kept him from going out of bounds. I'm sure he thought that that one was a little bit too far mm -hmm. to the right, but... Ended up coming back for him, so should be all right. I remember that same Ludus earlier. Going forehand. See, you can see that tree right off the tee. Um, if you're trying to throw a super turn shot or even, like I would like to try the lefty roller sometimes, but it's just not quite there because of that tree. Mm -hmm. That's a good forehand, though. That's really oh, out yeah. there. Great forehand. Approaching from the left side is a little bit more difficult off uh, on the second shot, so... Might have some problems over there. Eli next. I think he's going with his flippy D6 here. Trying to lay down a roll or two. Mm -hmm. Throws it with Hauser, flips over super fast. Oh yeah, that's looking crushed. Surprised he doesn't he's... go air shot there, but that's still a great yeah. roller. Hauser makes a stump right near me and Jordan. Jordan actually up first here. Mm -hmm. Stand still A2 from about 320. Unheard of. Looks pretty good though. Can't quite tell where the bat. Oh, oh that's yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. Great shot by Jordan. Like I said, you have a few more trees to deal with and a little bit smaller gap down on the left side, and you're throwing uphill, so it makes the footing a little difficult. So, Jamie, I'm going with that light blue MD5, I think. He's, he's yeah. going to be putting. Mm -hmm. I hear you lining up. Forehand A2 as well. Mm. Warm burn. A little low. Good skip, though. Oh. Mm. Caught one of the last few trees, keeping him from being at the basket. Not sure what this is. He's throwing. I'm not sure. If I had to guess, probably an A2. Some kind of approach disc, mm -hmm. trying to get it up to the basket, give himself a putt. Threw hard, mm -hmm. it's up there. Got an Adam here last up, also with my 300A2. Kind of a softer plastic, so hope, hoping it'll hit and stop maybe. Just left a little inside, not wide as I wanted it. It worked though, mm -hmm. give me putting. This is a nerve-wracking putt for me, Lon. Oh, yeah. Straight down the hill. If he catches the basket low or high, it has a chance of rolling down the hill. Mm -hmm. It's not what you want. Ooh. Yeah. Typical miss from that putt right there. It's yep. a little low. Left it low. Thankfully, it didn't roll away, though. Kind of stuck right there near the basket. And Jamie with that same nerve-wracking putt. Slope right behind him. Right behind the basket, rather. Ooh, great putt from Jamie. Oh, yeah. Can tell he didn't quite almost has it out to the left there. Mm -hmm. Kind of left a little soft, but yeah, great putt. Issues. Ooh. I had a tough little straddle between these trees. I was trying to get my head not to hit my hand on this tree to the right. Just put it through there. 
Go to wide stance. I'll let it go oh, out. man. 200 miles too early into that tree to my left. Wasn't too happy about that one. Yeah, that one's done a little bit. Jordan hitting top link and dropping straight in. He made it though, it's in the basket. Hunter. Same putt with a slope behind the basket, but he is a little closer than everybody else was. So, should have a little bit better opportunity to make the putt. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Good putt, though. And I'm trying to tap in for my par. You and Eli taking the pars. Eli doesn't look too happy about that one, but. On the hole 15, 360, tight gap through the woods. But if you pure that first gap, you're most likely going to be putting around somewhere. Mm hmm. Pretty open after you do hit the initial gap. Mm -hmm. There's even, you can see there on the left, there's some cut down stumps. I think it looks like Jordan actually might be going that way. Mm -hmm. Kind of a forehand or backhand, lefty backhand friendly route. Throwing his X1. Didn't get that one wide enough, but. Asking it to push. Actually mm -hmm. made it all the way through to the edge of the island. Nice. Push, it did. Jamie going with the traditional up the middle. Mm hmm. Wanted to hazard out at the end. He pured that gap. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you saw a hit up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great shot. Hunter also with a strong forehand. He's going to the left side as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely put it wide. Skipping up on his own. Didn't quite see it there, but looked like a good shot. Here I'm throwing it from like five, trying to just hit that gap as best as I poss possibly can. See what you got. Mm. Oh, man. Get the skinniest gap I could find to about five feet. Oh, my goodness. I literally went through everything there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that one. Oh, yeah. Eli just going that wide righty backhand. Man. Ooh. Got the trick down to the left there. Eli's having a little bit of a rough time here, getting some bad breaks. Still fighting through though. Looks like he's still got a good head on his shoulders, so Let's see how he finishes here. Turn the forehand up and through, trying to get through there. Hunter, up on the green. Let's see if he can put this one in. Once again, just taking his time, spinning the disc, trying to find a comfortable grip. Let's add low. You lie for the par. Really taking his time. He really wanted this putt. Oh, yeah. Don't want to lose another one to the card. No, definitely not. Just trying to finish at this point. Good spot. Oh, Dad, great run, though. Jordan didn't quite make it up. He probably hit that tree, if I had to guess. Still left himself with a good putt. Just left it wide. Jamie here with the only real putt left. Because Adam's up there, parked. Hopefully he can make this one. Mm -hmm. Up yeah. in. Great two. That's that's not an easy hole to two. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to be too upset with a three on this hole. Not at all. Adam just bag putts there. The confidence. <laughs> waving, to, cheers. waving to all the loyal fans out there. <laughs> Adam, Adam. Jordan typing in his three. Yep. Jordan putting with the PA ones there. Eli's just gonna tap in. And Hunter as well. Moving on.
on to 16, sh little short par 3. Gonna be throwing the uh, forehand for all these guys. Don't have any lefties on the card. Tragedy. <laughs> Looks like Jamie's lining up a backhand with a DX Rock 3 if I had to guess. Just Turned it a little too early. A little inside. I'm also lining up the backhand with my 300 PA3. It's looking good though. Turned it. Mm -hmm. Whew. Nice. Yeah, getting a fist bump there from his competitor. Jordan going with the forehand. I think that's his FAF Firebird. Yeah. Yep, I think you're right on that. Looked like it faded out a little early. Didn't quite see it finish, but probably putting somewhere down there. Underlining up a forehand. I'm not sure what this disc is. Yeah, that'll work. Eli also with a sidearm. Mm -hmm. Lining up his 750H2. Original H2? Mm-hmm. Eli mm. has a good flick. He stayed down on that one. It's looking really good. Oh! Close to getting the ace there. I'm going to backtrack that one. See how close he came again. Like I said, he stayed down on it. Threw it hard. Great forward skip. Ooh. It's pretty close to acing right there. Would have been his second ace on the UGC channel here. Jamie, farthest away, and just putting that one under the basket. Mm -hmm. Jordan looks like he's in a pretty tough spot here. Yep. Trying to get in there to his lie. Moving some of those broken trees down. Let's see if he can make this putt. Just a little high. Gave it a good run from there. Yeah, it can be mad from there, though. That's, you know, good run. Mm. Top link, just a little right. Couldn't quite hold it in there. Yep. Jamie's just going to step up to this one. Yep, putting that in. Jamie's pungs came a long way. Looks like he's starting to oh, yeah. figure it out, too. Add him with the two. Shout out to Dylan there in the background. We're in the Jomez Pro. Jordan after that putt out of the woods. Tapping in three. Eli's well. Just putting that one in. Hunter's going to come up last year and just put his in as well. It's always a good day when you can give it an ace run and also just tap in the two. Yeah. Moving on to the last hole here, hole 17. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of history with this hole myself, but let's see what these guys can do. Here I'm just trying to get on it and park it for the end on a good note. That's right. Turned it a little too much. Oh, yeah. A little too much turn, like you said, but highs are now. And you're going to be behind that. That's a tough lie. Directly behind that tree. It's pretty sad I didn't get to make it this year. Uh, but glad to see these guys play and see who's going to get the win. Looking looking like Jordan has a pretty good shot if he doesn't take a 28 on this hole. <laughs> Eli had some good power on that one, just nicking that tree, leaving him a little short. All these guys are just going to be trying to flex, give it a little bit of flex, and let it come back in with Heiser, park the hole. Jamie, that looked a little low, but mm -hmm. it's working. Yeah, still finished a little low. Putting, long putt. Jordan here. Yep, just going to try to finish this one, put this one away. And he got on that one, didn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. 
That's just going straight at the basket. Also making the tree move in a similar spot to Eli. Last but not least, Hunter. I'm surprised he doesn't go with the sidearm here. He has a really good sidearm, and the sidearm and lefty backhand is a good play to mm -hmm. flex it through that middle gap. Looks good, though. Smooth backhand. Just turned it a little bit too much like you. Mm -hmm. Leaving him over there. Can't quite tell if that bug thing there is in his way, but nonetheless, it's sure. probably in his vision. It looks like he's stepping out. He's mm. going a nice forehand up there, giving him a good putt. Yep. Here I am. I took a while for this shot, trying to find every possible shot that I could do. Settled on the forehand out to the right here. In this spot, I've kind of been there a few times, and personally, I just kind of had to give myself a putt, not trying to park it. I saw that off completely through those bushes, but somehow made it through. Jamie putting for the two. He's down the hill. It's a long putt, but... See if he can put this one in the basket. Just over a good run from Jamie. Yeah. Eli's going to try to make this one for a two. That's a great way to finish your round. Yeah. I'm sure he's happy with that one. 480 feet probably plays a little bit longer than that. Jordan, just kind of looks like he's gonna run it. No, he's not in any of that laying up stuff. <laughs> Even with an eight-stroke lead, he's not laying up. Adam here after being stuck over there behind the trees. It's about a 20-foot downhill putt. Oh yeah, he got it. Cashed it. Also a good way to finish. Good nine holes. Hunter and the rest of these guys are just going to come in. Put these in to... Unless something drastic happens here in the next few minutes. Mm -hmm. Looks like Jordan has this one locked up. I think who we got left? Jamie and Jordan. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Great play by Jordan, from what I saw. Oh, yeah. Came in with a few extra strokes. Little fist there. It's all <laughs> Jamie with a little funny putt there. It's always a little hard to compete when somebody comes in shooting a super hot 48 there. Yeah, and there you see he uh, won by a few strokes. Thanks for – just want to thank Josh for letting me and Adam come on here and do this commentary. And thanks to everybody that came out to the tournament. Super fun. Yep. See you guys next year. Thank <laughs> you.